Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your 2019 six-month forecast. We are looking into the energies of January through June 2019 for you. This is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal six months ahead, whether that be starting January or any other time throughout the year, please go ahead and email me and you can get a more personalized look into your situation. This is general, yes? This is for uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get straight into it. Hmm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please show us an accurate representation of what's going down potentially for Gemini for January through June of 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Gemini, 2019 could be a really strong year for you. I don't know. The energy has just felt really powerful. So let's see what we've got for January for you, Gemini. So, oh, I forgot to mention, I am using the major arcana of the Dreams of Gaia Tarot here. And I'm going to be reading from the book a little bit because this, uh, this deck is still a little bit new for me. And then I'm going to be clarifying with an or uh, not an oracle, a uh, tarot deck, which is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Yes? So... For January, what do we have for Gemini? Gemini in January. Gemini. Here we go. We have Journey. Okay. February for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February, what do we see? What do we got here for you? Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in February here. Hmm. Feeling a bit indecisive here, huh, Gemini? It's kind of what I'm feeling like here. February. Thank you so much, Spirit. What do we got going on for, Jan for February for Gemini here? We have the Crone, and we have March here. Knowledge. Okay. April. Whoa. April and May. Okay. Emotions and healing. And then finally, June. The Sage. Very interesting. So there's definitely a progression here, Gemini. Um, you're going from the Crone to the Sage by June. Excellent. So, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. You're starting on a brand new journey uh, come January, okay? Um, and I really feel like this journey... I mean, you're setting yourself up for it in January. By February, I really think you're walking that journey. You're walking that path. But this journey is definitely something that, you know, is not, I want to say not for the faint of heart. It's a very unique journey to you. You're going off the beaten path. You're not really doing anything because someone says tells you to or says you should. You're doing something because you know it's the right thing to do. By March... You're learning something new. Some of you really could be um, starting a, a new course, maybe going back to school for something, deciding to go back to school for something. Um, and this actually could be something that's leading up from January. You're embarking on a new journey. By February, you're like, I want to go in a separate direction. By March, you're ready to start learning about, learning uh, some sort of specialty for some of you. April is looking like an emotional month for you, but it's looking like emotional clearing. Definitely some emotional clearing because by May, you're healing. And then by June, you are really a torchbearer. Okay? You're really, you're really, a, you've, you've worked towards becoming a pretty wise individual. And I really see you sharing that knowledge with others. You could, some of you could, some of you come, could come in contact with someone that you might consider to be a sage, a healer, a, a healer, a healer or a guru, guru that you really respect and admire. So let's get into some clarification for your months here. 
starting with January, you have the uh, you have Journey here. Give me just a second. Okay, here we go. Journey. Keywords. Experience. Character. The past. Cause and effect. Consequence. Conditioning. Environment. External influences. Providence. Key phrases. You are created by your experiences. Your character is shaped by your past. How does your past influence you? Are you reliving your past in the present? Smile over the good and make peace with the bad. Choose quality experiences. Act with reason and purpose. Avoid involvement in unwanted conflict. Create happy memories. Learn from the journey. Don't make your truths a prison. This day is yours to shape. So you're definitely going to be in an energy of reshaping your life. Taking the experiences you learned from the past and using those to help shape your future. Uh, my attention was just drawn to the butterfly on this card. So I really feel like a lot of you, uh, the, the butterfly is on the bottom, right, right here, on the bottom of that card, you see it? A lot of you are really going through a transformation here. All right, and it's really a transformation that is helping, that is helped or shaped by what has gone on in your past and what you, how, what you want to experience in the future, how you want to grow, expand, or appear in the future. Ooh. Okay, so we got some flyers here. Oh goodness! All right, <laughs> all right. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. You've got the Knight of Cups, and you also have the Six of Wands and the Chariot. There's some sort of long-term investment. Now, this could either be from the past, you've been investing into something long-term, and now you've gotten to a point where you're, you're receiving some sort of victory. I feel like... Um, I feel like... This victory is either in you expressing yourself or knowing enough to move forward. Someone could be expressing themselves here because you do have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups could be an invitation. Um, it could be an offer. There could be an offer of commitment coming in for you. You may be in a position where you've been going through something with someone for a long time. And um, the Ten of Pentacles could be, you know, that long-term investment. And now someone is finally making an offer. But I really feel like that Ten of Pentacles was talking about long-term investment in the future, okay? January is seems to be a really strong planning month for the signs so far. I mean, I've done Aries, Taurus, and now I'm doing Gemini. And all three signs really had... Um, a planning energy coming through for January, but for you specifically, Gemini, it's more like it's more like a Seven of Pentacles type of energy. You're taking stock of what may have happened in the past and reshaping or using that knowledge to shape your future. Okay. All right. So one more shuffle, and then we're gonna get some clarification for you for January. Here we go. For January, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the Magician, yep, the Hermit, and the Ace of Swords. I think maybe, let me see if, some, I think something else might have flipped over here. But, um, all right, so the Magician, the Hermit, and the Ace of Swords, okay, we're good, underneath the deck. <laughs> you have you have the Knight of Cups again. Now, this either could be someone coming forward towards you with an emotional offer, or you going towards someone else with an emotional offer, or you just moving forward in some sort of creative way um, that's, that's pretty emotionally fulfilling for you. I see some try, someone trying to be of service also with the Knight of Cups here. But um, you have the Magician. So you're really work, working on manifesting something. 
Um, and a, a period of introspection, you could be going through a period of introspection for, throughout this month, definitely um, taking, again, taking stock of what has happened in the past and how you want to move forward. And I really feel like January could be a month where you really get down to the bottom of certain things. You have some sort of epiphany, an aha moment, and then you move forward in some way with some sort of a man, idea to manifest something. And also with the Ten of Pentacles that was coming out, I feel like there could be some Geminis out there who are, who maybe in this month you really get down to the bottom of something and you realize you do in fact want a commitment or you may, you may realize what it was in the past that was holding you back from having some sort of commitment. Um, maybe some sort of fear you had around it, some sort of self-limiting belief you had surrounding it. And with journey being the, the central theme of that month for you, it's been all about the process of getting to where you, ooh, sorry, getting to where you are at this point to have this realization to then move forward with some sort of offer of sorts, okay? So that's, that's great so far, Gemini. Next, for February, you have Crone. And I'm definitely feeling like whatever it is you're planning for in January is really setting you off the beaten path, okay? Um, this is an individual, this is, you know, honoring the divine feminine energies within you. Um, this is a very wise, you know, feminine energy. Um, she doesn't really do anything that she's quote, supposed to by societal standards, she does something because it's needed to be done to keep the balance overall, you know, for the highest good of all. I am going to read a bit from the book here for you guys. Oops, <laughs> the two of cups was flipped over. All right, well, the two of cups was flipped over and I do feel like I, I saw another card flip over while I was doing January. So I think that was it for you. Um, so you really could be combined, you could be coming together with someone in January. Um, or you could be, someone could be, you could be making plans to take, to make the situation, to take it more serious. Or you could be clearing up, you know, with the hermit energy, you could be going within and understanding what it is that's keeping you from having a relationship. Okay, so now getting into February, you have the Chrome. Let's read about that for a little bit here. Here we go. The Chrome. Keywords. Feminine power. Fearlessness. Authenticity. Individuality. Independence. New purpose. Freedom. And the shadow self. Key phrases. The woman who understands her true nature. Be aware of your choices. Be unafraid to walk your path alone. A life of your own design. Untapped power and potential. A fertile and productive future. A childless state. Be unbowed and apologetic. And unapologetic, excuse me. Respect and cherish your, uh, your elders. A direct and forthright approach is needed. Do what's necessary, not what's expected. It is time to be fierce and fight back. There's definitely an energy of some of you taking your power back here. And it's really this going off the beaten path, doing what is what is necessary rather than what is uh, expected. Okay. And let's get some clarification. This is for your month of February. All right, one more shuffle. All right, Gemini, let's see what we've got for your month of February here. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. All right, Seven of Cups. Woo! Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Four of Swords. So this could really be a restful month for you. There's going to need to be a time to stop for a moment and take some stock to understand some things. You have the Seven of Cups. You have the Six of Wands, the Tower. There we go. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Gemini, this is going to be a really strong month for you. Um, I can see here that there's going to be a Tower moment. Hmm. I really feel like for some of you, 
you may have lost faith in some sort of part or some sort of piece of your life. And actually, that's what kind of the journey is talking about for January. There could have been a situation in your life that you were expected to carry on with, but you lost faith in it somehow, and you don't want to work towards it anymore. You don't want to juggle this any longer. I really feel like it's something that maybe felt promising or you thought was going to be promising or it was sold to you that it was some sort of dream, like it was going to be promising in some way. But I really feel like you've come to terms with the fact that it's not going to happen that way. And it's just not something that you want to be a part of any longer. And what I'm also getting here with the Seven of Cups is... It actually influenced you to look deeper and find out what it is you truly wanted. And then the tower moment strikes and you're able to go forward with it in victory. I really feel like I really feel like whatever it is you've experienced on your journey so far um, that has led you to like basically go your own way with the crone here. All of that has been victorious because now you're choosing to go your own way. And that is the tower moment coming through. And that's bringing you a victory here. It's validating you in a certain in a way, which is fantastic, Gemini. Four of Swords is also saying um, February could be a pretty restful month for you. Um, it might be a little tumultuous, uh, maybe a little dramatic with the tower moment here. And you're probably going to have to take some time to like pull back a little bit, rest and recuperate um, to get, just to regenerate, you know, before you move forward with your life, okay? So then for March, you have knowledge. So I really feel like, especially if some of you are going in your own direction, you're changing course, you're doing something different with your life, you really could be learning something new um, to, to, to match that, to fit that. You could be learning a new craft, going back to school to learn something new, um, starting a new business even which would take in which you're taking the knowledge that you learned um in the past to help build this business to help start your life anew okay let's read a little bit about this card from the book here Card number nine. Now, card number nine is a card. Uh, the card, uh, excuse me, the number nine is a card as a number of endings. Okay, so here you have knowledge. Keywords are skills, understanding, training, education, and practical experience. Key phrases: We exist to learn, and we learn to exist. Knowledge is power. Has your past education served you? Do not limit your potential for learning. A time of new study and learning. An opportunity to learn about people and the world. Surround yourself with books and information. Does bias and unfounded prejudice close you to new knowledge? Improve upon the knowledge that you have. Where is your knowledge taking you? Does what you are learning now serve a practical purpose? Create a better future by continuing your studies. And you know what, and Gemini, Gemini, you are very much about learning anyway. So changing course, changing direction, and going somewhere new that's more exciting and potentially more fulfilling does not feel like it's out of character for you. I just really feel like this is absolutely influenced by what you have been through in the past, all right? So let's get some clarification here for you. Okay. All right, so let's clarify. Knowledge, please. Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for their month of March. Is this March? Yes, March. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Okay, so definitely hard at work, doing something new, learning something. I really see, I really feel like you're putting a lot, uh, you're putting a lot into this, okay? Underneath the deck, you have the lovers. There you are. This is your this is your card, Gemini. All right. 
Um, you have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups in reverse, okay? The High Priestess, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. My, my, my. First of all, let's get into this side of the equation here because you have counterparts between the High Priestess and the Hierophant, all right? And so that's another depiction of, like, Gemini. You have the counterparts, right? You could almost say they're twins, One's the masculine, one's the feminine. Um, for some of you, you could be, I feel like I want to say for some of you, you could be embarking on a twin flame journey. You, like, you could really be starting that. That's interesting. Um, or consciously starting that. Uh, but that's just for like a minute few of you. That was just something random that came through. What I'm really getting here is learning in an unconventional way. Okay, you have the Hierophant in reverse with the Seven of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess is upright. The High Priestess is talking about that unconventional wisdom, the universal wisdom, the unknown wisdom. Okay, so I really feel like that's where you're getting a lot of your learning from. You have the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords in reverse, coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. And to me, this is just saying that you're really just not trying to go back to the past. You're really leaving your, the past behind here. There's been some sort of um, indecisive, inf uh, 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 an indecisive element to your life over this time in which you didn't you weren't letting go of the past but now you have you've released this situation or at least you're choosing to release this energy from the past and you're working in a new direction you're working on moving towards a new direction some of you for some of you this could be you connecting with a soulmate here or twin flame um, but others of you, this is the balance between masculine and feminine. Also, this is a choice. The lovers can be seen as a choice of vice over virtue. Vice being choosing the will of others over your own. And what I'm seeing here is a choice is or has, is being made or has been made in the form of going in your own direction. Everything's been leading up to that so far. All right. Great job. This is really good, Gemini. This is really, really good. So let's move on. To April, you have emotions, all right? So there could be a lot of emotional clearing, emotional cleansing, purging that's happening, especially in light of this new knowledge that you're, uh, you're seeking, this new direction you're going in. Okay, so let's get into the book here. I do want to read a little bit of this for you, emotions. There we go. Emotions, keywords, feelings, emotional, honesty, positive emotions, negative emotions, acknowledgement, exception. I'm sorry, acceptance, expression. Key phrases, all emotions are necessary. How are your feelings influencing you? Use your feelings to evaluate a situation. Heed the message behind the feeling. Are you a negative or positive person? Do not judge the present based on the past. Practice acknowledging your feelings. Fill your day with laughter. Step back and detach emotionally. Positive emotions open you to learning. Repressing emotions creates disease. Address symptoms of emotional repression. I really feel like this month of April is going to be very cleansing, very purging for you. Especially if you're coming out of something that was long-standing for a while that you found not to be too fulfilling any longer. It was not really something you wanted to do. I feel like once you effectively start to remove yourself from that position, from that situation, you will be able to really start to purge and cleanse the emotions surrounding it, okay? All right. One more shuffle, and then we'll get into clarification for the month of May, April. Excuse me. Right? Yes, April. Okay, here we go. Clarification, please. Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. King of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Death. Yep. Okay. 
All right, underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so emotional boundaries for sure. I'm going to pull one more time. Spirits asked me to pull one more time here. There we go. Okay. All right, cool. So now underneath the deck, you have the High Priestess again. So this is definitely a continuation of the lessons, the unconventional wisdom that you've been learning. You have the unknown. You have the, ooh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. And the Four of Cups. All right, Gemini. So this could be you. Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, this really could be a very emotional month for you. Very emotional month. And it's a situation, <clears throat> it's a situation where, you know, your emotions are really on overdrive. But that's causing you to not quite think clearly or uh, speak um, in the best way, okay? So be careful of that. Uh, the Queen of Cups is someone that's very aware of her emotions, but she doesn't really share them too often. In my opinion, the King of Cups shares it more. But with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, I just feel like communication might really be off for you that month just because of the emotional nature of a situation. I'm seeing the removal of some sort of energy, of, of some sort of King of Pentacles energy from your life, a masculine energy here. The death of maybe a relationship. This could be a father. That's what I'm getting for some of you. This could be a, a, a transformation in the relationship with your father or a father figure. Um, and this could have been the situation like this. There could be, you could be dealing with a family business or a family situation in which you have felt like you were obligated to participate in, even though you it was not something that you enjoyed. It did not benefit you. It did not serve your highest good. So you really could come to a place where your emotions are on overdrive here. And that could lead to some nasty arguments, maybe. So just be aware of that. Now, with the unknown, the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I really feel like you're taking a journey into the unknown, but also what the unknown is saying is that you need to look at this situation from an op from more of an open mind and understand that there are parts of the situation that you may not be able to understand right now and that you need to just move forward without that understanding because it's not necessary. It's not required for you to have that understanding without no, uh, in order to move forward. With the Four of Cups here... Often people say this is a missed opportunity, but in this situation, I'm noticing that this person is focused more on the four of cups, the, 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 the first cup, that ace of cups, rather than the three of cups behind her. The three of cups would be some sort of social societal situation. The ace of cups represents divine love, self love, okay? And I really feel like instead of focusing on what the three of the people of the three of cups are doing, you're focused on your own self worth and your own love own self-love and the three of pentacles here um, can talk about entrepreneurship but also for me it talks about self-mastery in the physical sense so you really could be working on mastering yourself starting a new situation and actually the transformation could also be you going into business with yourself between the three of pentacles the king of pentacles and death okay but the high priestess here in, underneath the deck is speaking to this unconventional wisdom that you are acquiring at this time during the month of April. Okay, so now getting into May, so fitting you have healing. All right. And so after the emotional upheaval that seems to be happening in April, May brings healing, which is fantastic. I really think that's pretty self-explanatory here. So I'm just going to get straight into the clarification let me just shuffle this up a little bit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. Let's get some clarification, please, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, month of May, 2019. All right, one more shuffle here. Okay. 
Let's see what the month of May brings for you in the form of healing, Gemini. All right. So look, there's that three of pentacles again. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the ace of wands. Inspiration. Now, all this healing is definitely going to bring some inspiration to you that's going to help you move forward. You have the Three of Pentacles with the Moon and Judgment. So I feel like there are going to be some things that are probably going to be revealed for you, or they've already been revealed for you, and that has helped you move on, have some sort of reconciliation potentially, or some sort of um, resurrection, and that's leading to greater self uh, mastery. But also, there is a theme of entrepreneurship here. Secrets may have come to light that has caused a judgment to be made, and now you're really moving forward in a new direction entrepreneurially. Aha, and here we go. All right, we've got the Hierophant here, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I'm seeing that the Hierophant is talking about constitution... Or, well, the Constitution, yes, but um, what is the word I'm looking for? Tradition, status quo, going with um, is expected of you, right? But there's so much conflict. There's conflicting energy here. There is chaos with the Five of Wands. There's too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, I really feel like you have, Gemini, you really learned your lesson from this Hierophant figure. Again, this could be a father figure, um, the patriarchy, the patriarch of the, fa of the family, a boss maybe, um, a clergyman, a priest, a religious leader, spiritual leader maybe. But I really feel like you learned a serious lesson with this within this situation. And now the month of May is all about healing from it, resurrecting yourself. You could be doing this in, in secret. You could be recreating yourself in secret with the moon here throughout the month of May. And that's really cool. Phoenix from the Ashes Risen is an energy that I'm getting here, especially with this Ace of Wands. You have inspiration to move in a new direction. That's fantastic, Gemini. Absolutely fantastic. So finally now, let's get into June, which is the Sage. And so now after all this healing you've gone through, now you're in a position to lead the way. You've become a very wise individual. And so now you have a lot to say, probably. You have a lot to show people. And I really don't even feel you being too forceful with this. I just feel like, you know, you kind of allow your wisdom to speak for yourself, which is actually a really cool way of approaching, you know, but let me, I'm going to read the, read a little bit from this card here in the book, card number seven. But also, you've progressed. You went from the crone, and now you're in the energies of the sage by June. Okay? Uh, keywords, sharing, communication, knowledge, information, culture, tradition, advice, manipulation. Key phrases, be the storyteller, communicate your thoughts and feelings, know your audience, devote time to research and investigation, learn the traditions and customs of others, know your ancestors and heritage. Sage advice both given and received. There is no good time to give unsolicited advice. Question your, quote, traditional reactions and responses. Do not speak so much that you forget to listen. Be wary of the smooth talker. Do not embellish the truth. All right, Gemini. So now let's just get some clarification for your month of June here. Gemini, June 2019, clarification, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Gemini, let's see what we've got for you. The Sage. 
Thank you so much, Spirit. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So, you have, underneath the deck, we've got the Four of Wands. That's excellent. And this is really talking about your foundation within yourself. By June, you probably have really come to a brand new foundation of who you are, who you understand yourself to be, what it is you're here for, what it is you want to do with your life. Um, you've got the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. You also have ooh, the Devil and the Eight of Pentacles. I really see you fighting off this devil energy here between the page and the knight of wands, all right? Um, it's like the page of wands is the inspiration. The knight of wands is the action. And with this sage energy here, it's like you're helping to change people's point of views. I heard surrounding conformity in some way. Um, and you're working towards being of service. Your trajectory has probably changed now so that you're in a more service-based uh, profession, career, a line of work, especially as the spiritual warrior. I mean, some of you may even, some of you, I'm feeling like some of you may want to become some sort of prosecutor, maybe a, um, a police officer, uh, maybe even a psychologist. Someone that's doing some sort of good in the world to fight some sort of codependency. And actually, as you, as, um, as this six-month uh, forecast has progressed, it's like you guys started in a situation that actually was very probably pretty toxic and codependent um, with the Hierophant energy that kept coming out. I really feel like it was almost, for some of you, it was like cultish, okay? But you've successfully been able to remove yourself from the situation, and now you have all kinds of wisdom stocked up because of it and that is allowing you to move forward and be a teacher to give back in the sense of and show, telling your story in order to help others with their situations all right gemini so that's looking like a great forecast for you for 2019 it looks like it's going to be a very powerful strong uh uh catalyst like year all right so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into the six months uh, coming up for you, whether that be at the beginning of the year or sometime in the middle of the year, don't hesitate to go ahead and shoot me an email. Yeah, much love to you all. I wish you the very best in 2019, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.